guys, it's your girl Wayla, and today my sister is here. Well, of course I'm here. It's my house. <laughs> Anyways, today we are here. Um, she is going to do a makeup tutorial on me, but she's only going to go by sound, so she's not, you know, she's not looking at it. So she's just gonna. She's just gonna go by sound. Um, <laughs> we are doing. Um, Arnell Armand, not to be confused with Alyssa Ashley, who is her twin sister. So, yes, the video will be down below so you guys can go check it out. Subscribe to her, she is um, awesome, just like her sister. So, yeah, go do that. Thumbs up this video, and you ready? I don't even know what I need right now. She started it. I, I bought it with money. I'm not under PR because it looks so pretty. And so I was going to create this look for you guys. I really love this look a lot. It's so like fall, kind of vampy. All right, so to prep my skin, I'm taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Hydrogen Oil. It's actually so nice. They just came out with this, I believe. I'm not sure. I just got an ML though. And it just has like the most pleasant smell and it's so hydrating well it's called hydrating oil but it's really really nice so I'm going to prep my skin using that first and then to prime my skin I'm gonna use this new Versali skin tune blur and but I mean clearly I like it if I've used it more than a few times and then for Wait, foundation, I'm going to take my Too Faced Sport and Sweet Foundation, and I'm in the shade Maple, and so I'm going to take that with my oh, Beauty Beauty Blending Sponge, which has become a recent favorite of mine, and I'm just going to blend that all over my skin. So to conceal, I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer, and this is the shade Medium, and I'm going to place it underneath my eyes, a little bit on my forehead and the bridge of my nose, and then a little bit on my chin, and then I'm going to blend that out with the Morphe Blending Sponge. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Next to the place I concealed, I am taking my Easy Bake Baking Powder, I don't know what it's called, Loose Powder by Huda Beauty. And I'm in the shade Blondie. And I am going to first put a thin layer to set the concealer. And then I always put a second layer on top to catch the fallout. I don't like, you know, putting a super thick layer like to start off with. So I feel like that's how you So I did one eye off camera and here I'm doing the second eye. To prime, I'm using my same Urban Decay concealer and I'm just gonna round shade first. Now it's way darker than it looks. Okay. Um, and I didn't set my concealer. I haven't been doing that when doing my eyeshadow because it comes out much better. But for this one, it wasn't blending the way I thought it should. So then I took these two shades right here, which is like a softer cocoa brown and like a reddish color. And I blended that on top to try to like diffuse the dark brown underneath. So after I blended that out as much as I could, I feel like I made it work. It was kind of annoying, but it worked out. I'm gonna take this shimmery blue shade, which is really beautiful, and I'm gonna apply that with a damp brush. Um, I just sprayed my brush with Fix Plus, although this shade is as pigmented without any spray at all. It's just that the brush is already damp because I used it on the other eye, so I completely forgot and you know used it on this side too. But you don't need any like liquid to make this shimmer pigmented at all. It looks the same to me. And then I blend it out with a fluffy brush because I want the shimmer to kind of like go into the brown to look more smoky. So yeah, I just blend that out with the fluffy brush. I don't know at this point what is life. I don't know how to put Wait, listen. This is blue, right? Listen, there. listen. Yeah. 
little blue. My mama got blue. Yeah, because it does. Well, she. She needs to be white. It's just those big blue squares. Look, I'm trying to hear. Doing her brows. Oh my gosh. So she's done with the you're done with the eyebrow? The 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 lids? Yeah. This big blue square. It's too late for that. <laughs> I got that. I just wanna touch up the other brown. I want this blue. So look, I got way. it. I got it. Trust the process. Okay. Let me do this. eyes I'm gonna do my brow really fast I'm using this eco brow that I got from Namie's I'm not sure where else they sell it however Alyssa put me onto this and I like it it's like I like it but then I don't well I like it but I feel like it's almost a little too creamy for me so it's very easy to mess up with this um like in comparison to the Anastasia dip brow the dip brow it's creamy but it has more stick to it so it's like less mistakes but this one's so creamy it's very easy to like mess up on your lines i can't explain it but i mean i like it but then it just it's harder to work with and so um yeah i did most of my brow with that and then i used a pencil from bh cosmetics to fill in the front and then i used my max studio finish concealer to clean it up and then i'm just pulling that out to make my eyeshadow look more diffused it wasn't hard So next from the palette, I'm going to take this, it looks white, but it actually has like a pink hue to it. And I'm going to take that to center my brow. And then I'm going to take these two shades, the first dark brown shade I used with the red shade. And I'm just going to use the two shades to complete the eye look by putting that on my lower lash line. Got that part. Oh, 
So now I'm going to take a brush and dust away their excess powder. I love doing this part. As you can see, you know, when I blend it and I dust the powder away, there's not much product left over. And then once I set my entire face, um, it looks even more flawless. So I set my entire face and take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I think I'm in the shade 300. I'm not sure. The exact shade name will be down below, though. And I'm just going to lightly set my face with that. I've been like, well, because it's winter, my skin's a little dry now. I have been using too much setting powder. So if I use too much, my skin looks way too dry. So I've been trying to like go light on the powder. So I'm going to apply lash off camera. These lash from Lotus Lash. I don't know the exact name, but it'll be down below. So I applied those off camera. It took me like 20 minutes. And then for my lower lash, or my lower lashes, I'm going to take this NARS Clean. I don't have to brown. Wait, I do have brown. On my cheekbones, I'm gonna put some on my forehead, and then okay. I'm gonna put some underneath under my jawline. Uh, okay, go. Cheek, forehead. the nose we're going to use the black radiance um contour palette in the shade medium to dark that's it so we're going to contour up our nose right down on the side into the um Brush, or I like to use my finger to blend it out a little bit. Yeah. I fall asleep. Stand up. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. Next time I pick the video, I'll go down with the same with a little bit. I didn't even get near your eye. You did. No, I didn't. Play. Nose, my food, bronze, my benefit. This is the only thing I use as bronzer for is my nose contour. Because it's like the perfect shade. So I'm going to take my time with that. It wasn't applying the way it usually applies. I feel like it wasn't really showing up too much. which is why it took so long on it. But I was really trying to carve my nose out and make it look as cute as possible. P.S. If you're wondering my voice sounds like this, it's because it's early in the morning. Well, it's like 10. But I'm usually still asleep <laughs> at this time. So technically speaking, I'm still kind of asleep right now. So my voice hasn't like really woke up just yet. I just want to do this voiceover so I can post this video today because I promised to do so on Instagram. So for blush, I'm taking this on my NARS. I have no idea what the name is because it's new for me. I just bought it a long ago. But I am going to apply that on my cheeks obviously. And then apply it on my yeah, nose, which is something that I always do. If you've been following me, you know this. Honestly, I've been kind of going ham with it. I mean, I've done it before, and I'll go pretty light. But now, like, I put a lot of it on because I feel like it looks really cute. And then I'm blush on your nose. nose. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like well, she, cheeks, she chin, and nose. It just um, creates like the perfect flush look. It's just so pretty. And once you do it, you just we don't can't help. Hold our nose. 
Hey, dark chin. Hey, dark chin. What I'm saying. Like an OP red. Girl, you can't do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So to highlight, I'm gonna use both the highlights from collaboration. Now, I had to use both because this first one that I used, which is the one that's a little more golden, I don't know the name by heart, they'll be down below. It didn't give me my life. Like, you dang on long. How long have we been on this thing? Hour? It's more than the natural side. What is this? Like, I, from within. Yeah, sorry. I really love highlighters like that. I'm like, the people that be on Facebook Live, who is that? Be more pigmented. Hey, like, girl. So I switched the brush I was using to thought maybe it was the brush I was using, and I did make a little difference, oh, but it still good. wasn't like popping the way I want it to. It gives you a really nice natural glow, though. I actually really love that a lot. That's like what I prefer. But for this look, I wanted a more like um, extreme highlight look. I, I thought that it would look pretty with this look. So I used that highlight to highlight my nose and to do like the base of my highlights. And then um, I did a little bit of my brows and a little my forehead. And I took the other highlight, which is a little lighter. So I okay, all of it. And it did. And it did like do yeah, no. I didn't put too much. Well, actually, kind of did. I put a little too much and I kind of messed up. And I brought a little bit too far. Oh, but it definitely gave me the glow. Well, like I was doing the extra. <laughs> Just, just gonna be shy. Hey, I don't do all this. You pick this one. I just like the I look that it turned out to me. <laughs> well, look. Communication is key. Chestnut. So for lips, the first time I line my lips, you have my chestnut, chestnut lip, lip liner. So. What I'm gonna use chestnut, chestnut, roasting on wood fire. Chestnut, chestnut. Mm, I don't really have a chestnut, so we're not gonna we gonna just keep listening and see what I can find. So for lips, I'm gonna take these two liquid lipsticks by Black Moon Cosmetics. What color? I just bought these like a few days ago, so I don't remember the names of them. What if I was I blind? Well, then I wouldn't and so I have <laughs> this first one, which is like a, a really nice Hershey okay, brown, 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 brown color. And um, the second one is brown too. It just has a little more warmth. It has like a little more like red tint to it. And so um, yeah, I'm gonna use both of them. Not sure why. I'm always anxious to use the five. I'm just saying. Be aware of your audience. What you won't probably be watching it about. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna fix my liner at the bottom of my lip because it's kind of messed up. You guys can't see it, but I could see it. So I'm gonna fix that really fast. And I'm gonna take the second color and I'm gonna place it on top of this one. Did you say the other one was lighter? Yeah, she's the one with like a little reddish tint. So, the one with the reddish tint. Don't look like nothing on my lip. And then, why I decided to do to set this lip color in place? Not that I needed to, I just felt like it. I took that dark brown shade from the palette and used a fluffy brush and I just placed that on top of the liquid lipstick only because I just felt like it will make it look more matte and I just, I don't know, I just felt like doing it. So to set my face, I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus and after I set my face, I am done with this look. Um, so stay tuned for slow mos. Oh wait, I set my brows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I was done with this look. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up please subscribe. Hopefully my voice did not make you fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, for more said. great content that includes hair, makeup, and pretty much everything else, subscribe to my channel, and I'll I'm see you guys really later. upset. <laughs> Why ain't nowhere close? It ain't. <laughs> Look, okay, let me tell you something. It's not how I do makeup, okay? It's not. I don't know what this is. It's not what I would have did. So, I don't. It's not. Look, we're gonna put this wig on, and then, bam, we're gonna be fire. 
Why one of my eyebrows look higher than the other? Oh, she used the powder to make it nice. All right, you want to see? That's fine. We ain't doing all this. I don't feel like I gotta wash all the stuff off. Okay. All right, hold on. Please. Look at this. Look at this. It's there. It's there. And look. I'm pulling your mouth. Well, get it off of that frame, first of all. Here, here, play. <laughs> <laughs> it's just looking like crackers. Hello. See, how did I know? See, I didn't know what she looked like. See, these. Okay. First of all. That's not what she didn't say any of this. No, she did not. No. This was not described accurately. No. No. No, this was not <laughs> described accurately. This is my strategy. Because this is not. <laughs> Look back. <coughs> oh, wait, wait. Let me end this video. Do like that. <laughs> oh my god, I look like the wretched girl that's missing tracks. <laughs> look at look at this. Let's <laughs> just. Y'all see what she did to me? Do y'all see what she did to me? Wait, wait. You supposed to put a scarf like through the fan too? What, you know, no? Like, Where? You ain't got no hat. Not no hat. Why does the eyeshadow? <laughs> Hello, y'all. Take, take this cake thingy off of me. Ow! Ow! What am I focus? Hello, y'all. So this is <laughs> this is the final look. This is this is the final look of what my sister has transformed me into, guys. Um, <clears throat> clearly, next time we're going to pick someone else that is uh, more descriptive, but that look was very pretty. It was very pretty, except for she didn't, she couldn't follow the directions because she didn't want to give directions. She, exactly. she just did it. So, next time we'll pick a different, um, so, a different tutorial. Where are my phone? But anyways, me and this and this hair she done put on my head. <laughs> In this hat. I might wear this hat though. So oh, no. Okay, what's your point? Oh, I'm this with my black and white dress. But thank you guys so much for watching. This video has taken forever, but it's not gonna be forever in y'all time. But um yeah, that's it. Um uh, you wanna say something? No? Okay. Let me have that Instagram, but my Instagram the underscore curvy cutie. Yeah, we'll put that on the screen. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Thumbs up this video, please, because this was a mess. And, um, oh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. But, um, yeah, thumbs up this video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not. And turn on your bell notifications so you know the next time that I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, I'll see you when I see you guys. What you mean? Bye.